Alright guys, uh, we're getting ready to bring this out. I think we've reached about the color we need. I'm going to put it in the quench bucket and uh, I'll move it up and down at a pretty rapid um, pace so the air bubbles don't form around it causing weak spots. So, alright, here we go. Moving it up and down, that way air bubbles aren't, like I said, forming around that thing, around the head. You want to keep moving that. What that did, that, that made it like super hard, cooled it down really fast. I made it super hard. Okay. Put it in this bucket a little bit here. I'm gonna try and wash some of that salt off. And you can see it kind of made it a. Uh, let me shut this this forge. kind of made it a, uh, I don't know, it puts like a coating on it, like, um, what happens is the salt draws into the pores in the metal, into the fibers, and the pores in it, and um, it, uh, it protects it and hardens it, that salt, so, what I'll do now is, um, I'm going to take and clean it up and uh, I'll stick it back in. I'll heat it back up like I said and um, submerge the front. Set it here. Let the heat rise up into my tip till it um, right up in here till it it um, turns almost a straw yellow, not quite in that area, and then I'll drop her back in the whole thing back in the bucket, in the quench bucket, and then uh, we should be done. One way of knowing if um, how it's like tempered and everything is when you take a file across that tip, if the file bites in or if it glides, it just glides out over it. If it glides out over it, it's still a little hard. Um, if if it bites in nice, it's about where you want it. You don't want it to bite in too much because it'd be too soft. But you know, you, you just got to have that feel for it. You know, if you if you sharpen axes and stuff before. So I'm gonna clean this up and um, we'll uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, later. Alright guys, um, I think we're about ready. Um, I've heated this plate up here um, and put it on top so that my anvil's cold so that this still holds some heat and, and my head wouldn't cool down as quite as fast. Um, so we'll pull it out, I'll submerge that front tip, put it back here, let the heat transfer back up to I'll clean it up, clean that tip up after I put it in there and um, then I'll take and um, clean the tip up after I submerge that tip and then um, watch that way I can see the heat rise up through it and, and show me what I need to, for, to get the color I need so all right here we go that's that tip Okay, now I'll let that transfer. Let well, I should clean that up a little bit.
so I can see that heat transfer, you know, up through. Um, I watch the tip. Uh, the color in the tip, you can see it's changing now. Uh, just watch it, watch it transfer. that's doing is that's tempering that that tip there we're softening making it a little softer it hardened that tip and now it's transferring up soften it down a little and then uh, we submerge it and uh, Almost like we're getting some cracks in it. I don't like that. I'm not sure what's going on there. So you can see a crack right there. I think that's about what we're gonna let that heat transfer a little bit more, I guess. I don't know, like I said, I never did a did an axe head before. And I never used, you know, like that top of that railroad track. I never used that before, so I don't know. I don't know, you know, how this all, is all going to end up. Hopefully it ends up good, because I put a lot of time into it. Like, it's like, uh, about, um, I think I figured it out, about between 14 and 16 hours. So, all right, well, I think we're going to submerge her now. So, here we go. Definitely cracked. Ah, cracked on us. I don't know if it'll hold. Hopefully, it'll hold up. Definitely cracked though on us. I don't know if maybe the uh, you know maybe the. Um, if I'd have just left it go, um, you know, the, the, with it being the, the track itself, when I first hammered it out and, and everything, there was no cracks in it then. Um, if I'd have just left it go, like I said, I never, never made an axe head before. So, um, I don't know. But, uh, hopefully it, um, Hopefully it holds up. You know, we're still going to try it and everything like that. Just have that crack in there. I don't know. We'll find out. So uh, I'm going to clean it up and uh, show you the uh, sharpen it up and uh, show you the um, last last product of it and then when I find that I get an axe head or I mean a handle um, 
we'll uh, we'll take her out and try her. Hopefully she holds up. I don't know. We'll find out. So, all right. See you in a bit.